my friends, welcome back to another method or insight into realizing instinctually intuiting the infinite one beyond consciousness, beyond awareness, beyond experiencing, beyond presence, the peace beyond peace, the freedom beyond freedom, the indescribable beyond all things definable. This lesson is called Consciousness is the root of all illusion or the source of all illusion. Consciousness itself is actually the illusion. Again, referring back to some other teachings and my own teaching in the Enlightenment course, we tend to, we just saying sort of collectively, we as teachers or guides suggest that appearances are the illusion and consciousness is the real substratum of all experience. But from the threshold, from having entered the black hole, so to speak, metaphorically, having passed through the eye, the needle, having passed through the substratum of consciousness, from the vantage point of the infinite peace, of the infinite endlessness of the one, indescribable, I can say that Appearances, yes, are illusory in nature. They're relevant, but they're illusory in nature. But ultimately, all experience is illusory in nature. Still relevant, but illusory. So don't equate the word illusory with not relevant, should be dismissed. It is very highly relevant. It's even desired by the one. The one desires experiences, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Experiencing. However, on a mathematical sort of scientific level, experience of all kind is illusory in nature. Consciousness itself is the root of all experience. And I can confidently say that even consciousness itself is an illusion. It is the single first primary illusion of the infinite one. It's the first distortion of perfect infinite unity. It has purpose, once again, don't dismiss it. Nevertheless, on a methodical, scientific level, it is still classified as illusion, which is fine. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful illusion. But just realize that consciousness is the source of all illusion. When you realize this, when you sit with this insight for a second, for a moment, for a minute, you can sense all the importance that you've given to experiences, all the tension that you've given to experiences through all your negative definitions, your attached definitions, your believing in the illusion, being real kinds of definitions and understandings, just being sucked out of your experience. Just allow yourself to be emptied out by the realization that all of you is an illusion. All of consciousness is illusory, is empty in nature, is non-existent in nature. Consciousness is non-existent. It just appears to be operational, but it is in a way non-existent. From the vantage point of infinity, consciousness does not exist. It is an illusion. It has no substratum. It has no substance. It is an illusion doesn't mean it's not here. doesn't mean it doesn't exist in a way of it being present and having a function and being highly, highly, highly valuable and valued and loved. However, again, scientifically speaking, consciousness does not have an existence of its own. It is an illusion. It is an appearance of the one. It is a projection of infinity. It is a functionality, a function. Free will is a function of the one the most highly valued one, and it's king and God and ruler of all of creation. It cannot be sacrificed in any of the forms that we play with. It will always have to be honored as the truth. However, from the point of view of infinity, even awareness is an illusion. Just let this sink in and let it drop you. Let suddenly awareness becomes transparent and it used to hold your sense of identity up. It used to form sort of a bottom or a roof or a container. And you could walk around in this bubble and like land and jump on it and feel like it was real. But now that you realize and sit with the contemplation that consciousness is the source of all illusion, in fact, 
awareness itself is an illusion. Suddenly, the ground you were standing on becomes empty and transparent, dreamlike. And you fall right through. The bottom falls out of awareness, out of consciousness. And so does your sense of you. And you're in the infinite gap threshold of the black hole, sucking you in, releasing you. enlightening you on the nature of the infinite one or the non-nature or the beyond all nature of the one infinite. That is the infinite creator. That is the potential. That is the source. That is the enabler of all of awareness, of all that is. You are that infinite, nothing beyond.